where do you see are the big challenges not in terms of pricing but in terms of how companies should be addressing the big data issues are they on the right track or or there are challenges that you're seeing that you know if we don't do it right then we might go the CRM way where you know we are misguided and ultimately the results are uh less than the promise right right well it's great i mean when you think about you think back to the 80s there were things like artificial intelligence right which was the application of science to data and it really never went anywhere and i think that one of the things that's most important is it's not about purely the data it's not about purely the application of science it's really kind of the nexus of what am i trying to do in my business and and coming at it clearly from a business perspective as to how i'm going to use this information to make a decision and how i need to get information in the hands of the people within my organization to make better decisions what have you learned which organizations are ready which organizations are not ready what are the key indicators of readiness for you presented with a lot of data one of the key things is to make sure that uh, what you have is actionable is accurate Uh, and it's going to yield results that ultimately people in your organization believe have confidence in and take action on. Now that takes you into competition with uh, the likes of McKinsey where they have the year of the CEO and they can supposedly solve a, a lot of different varieties of problems not just the pricing issue they can address the cultural issues the organizational changes and so on and so forth. Uh, do you run into that situation often? We we do run into McKinsey and other management consultants. I think you know the way that uh, we typically work in that environment is that McKinsey McKinsey being there is a sign that the C-suite has recognized that there's opportunity for improvement and they're taking a big picture view to that improvement. Um, where we come in in that environment is the fact that in order to make systemic improvements i mean truly sustainable year after year improvements in your performance you need to have a system in place now you know why is it difficult i mean to me it sounds like technology should allow us to to do this uh why is it for, so difficult if let's say the ceo wants it done a ceo is is uh, sufficiently uh, bought in into the idea why would it be difficult for him or her to succeed I think I mean if there's any difficulty it's because potentially you don't have the buy-in of key people right across multiple levels it's hard for a C- any CEO to push something down uh and force something down really and expect to be successful there so forcing something on your VP of sales the VP of sales forcing something down for instance down into the the sales reps I mean ultimately people through multiple layers of the organization need to understand the benefit that they're going to receive down you know down to a, an individual sales rep level this is going to help me make more money peter i'm taking a step backwards and say the implementation is certainly or the successful implementation certainly is a, is a very important uh, challenge are there other challenges that you come across like technology challenges or um, just the lack of analytic, analytical talent or the communication between analysts and the business managers are there other challenges that also stand out right there there are always some challenges some of the key areas that come up are data data quality uh certainly is a challenge right so even even information within a company about what they've sold isn't always clean information right so uh it's important to understand what you're working with and then also too to be able to uh filter it you know process it get it really in a state that makes it usable and and that problem only becomes bigger with the prolific proliferation of big data and more sources of data you know most essentially you've got to get down to something that is usable and reliable uh first and foremost so that's a challenge the other challenge too for organizations that we work with 